Excuse me, sir. We're doing a brief video series on researchers and clinicians in the area. I was wondering if I can get 30 seconds of your time. I'm not from here. You're not from here? Where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. What do you What do? you do? I'm an HIV researcher. How did you get into HIV research? Well, I worked as a clinical assistant, as a registrar, for one year in South Africa in 2000. That was before antiviral therapy was available. Every day we had one patient that died. So that was for me a huge inspiration to continue work on HIV. You were inspired and you want us to save lives. How are you living up to that passion? What we do is HIV cure research because current therapy can suppress the virus, but we cannot cure the virus or cure the people. And that's what we aim to do, is try to go one step beyond. You're not looking to treat, you're looking to cure. Yes. That's amazing. Where did you go to school? Leuven and Gladstone Institute here in San Francisco. I did my PhD on the Riga Institute in Leuven, yeah. When you were a young kid, did you know you were going to go into HIV research and save lives? What did you want to be? No, I mean, paradoxically, my parents were farmers, so I wanted to become a farmer. So it was like just at the age of 17 that I decided maybe I don't do the farming, I do something else. So you took a risk and you went into a whole new field. Were either of your parents graduates? Did they go to college? My parents? Yeah. No, 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 no. They actually come from very rural areas. My father was born just before the Second World War. He lost his father at a very young age, had to take care of the of brothers and sisters. And still here you are with your PhD, working in HIV research and saving lives. Any advice that you'd have for the younger generation in high school or college, even undergrad, that want to follow their dreams? Yeah, stay close to yourself and make your dreams happen.